Hello to you, my fellow dark ones. How are you guys doing today? How's life? Before starting the episode, I made myself this, the energy EMC link. And then I noticed it's kind of useless until I saw the JEI or whatever it is at this very moment and realized, ah, you need to upgrade it. I wanted to get into power flowers as soon as possible. So yeah. This is going to be useful because this is energy EMC link. What we want is a personal EMC link. And of course, eventually we want to upgrade it to refine the EMC link. Like so. And none of these are quests. Anywho, we are going to need to provide this guy with EMC. And what we need is some power flowers. Power flowers themselves have EMC. So I think later on, we're just going to get rid of the patterns. So can you make me one? Thank you. So basic power flower. We didn't crash. That is good. And now comes the fun part of upgrading it. We have the Mark II. Are you sure these are not quests? Because they should be. Maybe not. Anyways, Mark III, Mark IV. Yeah, this one required a magenta matter. Mark V, which requires pink. My favorite one, the purple. And I have no idea how far we can go, but apparently we can go to violet. It's getting more and more difficult because I have to pump in more matters, but it's fine. Oh, these are expensive. 700 million EMC. Holy, eh, can we make blue? Okay, that's fine. Because we do have the blocks, I was lazy to set a pattern for it. We can also dupe, so who cares? But very good, here is blue. And when I say here, it means that it's crafting it. Takes time. This one actually gives you a million EMC per second. That's decent, really decent. We are crafting the cyan and I think we can go to green. Then we have to start cheating. Because the speed I'm using blocks of emerald is just stupid. Oh, cyan is ready. Thank you. I would like to say green is also a decent possibility. Well, it started crafting, so why would I complain? But this one is good. It almost gives us 19 million EMC per second. We can use it in order to make matters. So the question is, we put you over there. You give me a ton of EMC. I'm not exactly sure how this EMC link works, but let us give it a very small test. Uh, do we have a free channel? It seems we do. Let us have a storage bus, the EMC link. And I don't know, we give you a few matters and see how you work. So if I take it out. Oh, you can make it. Ooh. Well, as you might notice from the EMC on the top left hand corner of the screen, it has been a while later and I did some adjustments. First off, we have the compressed refined EMC link, which has 54 slots. So that's good. And I'm not really sure, but I think we should have enough material in order to make the lime power flower. That is the hope. You can't craft it. No crafting CPUs are available. Why? Here is the part where I'm a bit confused. Why do you have to craft it? You have this one. Oh, you don't have lime. Give me one lime. Thank you. You have lime. I don't get this. So why do you craft it? So I can take out magenta. I cannot take out lime. That is 3 billion. We have 60 billion. I'm very sorry, but this is very confusing. You can take green matter out. You can take dark matter. You can take whatever matter that you want. You cannot take out lime. Well, I can't really care less. I put this guy on extract only so that it doesn't input the items anymore. And there you go. Lime power flower. Thank you. So the lime power flower is going to give us 76 million EMC. That's a decent number. Can I take out the lime now? No. Can you take out lime if you have yellow? No. Okay, so one thing that I have noticed is that I'm really not doing this wrong. There should be something that I'm not seeing. Because for example, we have 179,000 slime balls, correct? If I add this slime ball to the recipes, we're going to have 62 million. So what I'm doing is not really wrong. It's just that... Uh, there is a limit somewhere, but that is perfectly fine. I think we should be able to make one more lime power flower. Why? It's fine. We do this step by step. Voila. Another power flower. I have been claiming some rewards and we got this. I didn't craft it. It's not my fault. But we have three lime power flowers and I think we have enough EMC in order to make a yellow one. Yeah, exactly. We're just waiting for some EMC. Very good. We have a yellow power flower. It's getting more exponentially expensive. So the more of them we have, the faster we will get to the fading power flower. Well, not to bore you to death, but we're at orange. And I do have a feeling we should be able to make another orange. Yes. And you guys get the gist. We're going to go as high as fading matter. Moving along, this seems to be white and it should work. It's just a lot of left clicking involved. Otherwise, it's not that bad. Uh, how much EMC do you cost? Uh, 261 billion. Wow. Well, we can make almost two. <laughs> Good. But do you see what I mean? There seems to be a limit on how much you can extract from the EMC link. So dark matter, you get one stack, correct? You go to magenta, still one stack. Cyan, you get five. Green, you get one. I believe there should have been a documentation somewhere, but uh, yeah. Oh, and by the way, that limit seems to be one and a half billion EMC. So it's actually better if you extract cyan. You get much closer to that number. You know, I figured instead of standing in front of this guy and right clicking, we can just use an import bus. Yeah, I was not thinking of that. 
this is much better. In fact, it is so much better that we should be able to make our final flower. You can, right? Yes. Basically what I'm doing is that I'm importing green matter into the system and then I'm crafting fading matter from that stage. Oh, it's ready. Thank you. So I just made this because somebody in the comments of, I don't know, two or three episodes ago mentioned that this is incredibly important and I should make it as soon as possible. It's just that I don't know why. Because fading matter does not have any uses and the link has a limit. So what's the use of 17 billion EMC per second? You wouldn't lie to me, would you? Because this took a few hours. But I think the good part is that we should be able to make them fairly faster. If it's at all necessary. I'm not sure. Let us upgrade the orange ones too. Can you do that? Yes. So here is one. Takes a bit of time to gather enough EMC to craft it, but I guess the second one should be ready in a few minutes. The EMC. Crafting it takes like a few seconds. So now that we have a decent supply of EMC, let us make a neutronium compressor. That's not a quest. <laughs> What's wrong? Well, it's not. Singularities are. I know that one of the matters which has a singularity is the magenta matter, so let's make a few stacks. And in the meantime, can you make me the final flower? No? Why? You know, we should do this in bits and pieces. That's the trick. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our first singularity. It's not purple, but at least it has an animation. Also, would be nice if we can make another neutronium compressor. Ah, that thing. So there you go. I made a rough calculation and it seems that we're going to need around five stack of singularities. So... Wasting two of them is not that bad. I was looking at the list of singularities and it seems that some of them are not that difficult to make. For example, we have an Indirium block singularity. I got one stack. It's very cheap. It's like 22 blocks per singularity. The other one is Mob Souls, which uh, we have one stack and 57. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but we're not in a hurry. All hail darkness. Welcome, my lord. But here is one more stack of Indirium. Is magenta ready? No. Still, I don't think we're in a hurry because some of these things are going to take a crazy amount of time. For example, Ethereal Slate. Oh, it's only three. Well, but you get the gist. Some of them are going to take a bit of time because, for example, we need a Balloon Singularity, which requires treated wood, does not have EMC, requires hemp, which doesn't have EMC. And just to make sure that we're not going to run low on singularities, we're going to make five stacks of each one. Maybe six stacks. I don't know, Indirium is cheap anyways and I got 20,000. <laughs> by accident. I don't know if it's late at night, I have a cold, or there's something wrong with my brain, but it seems I made a horrible miscalculation. You don't need 5 stacks of singularities, you kind of need around 25 stacks. Yeah, it's a minor hiccup, but that scares me a bit, because some of these guys are actually not as easy as you would think. Because for example, we need emerald clusters, or I don't know, we need pig iron, and I think one of the worst is going to be mana steel, because that's a lot of mana still without EMC. I can do that, I'm just telling you that it's not going to be easy. Another thing which is worrying me a lot is the number of neutron collectors that we're going to need. This is almost, I think, 180, but we need to triple it. My dearest minions, get to work. Affirmative. Well, we used to have around 180 neutronium collectors, now I think we have 540 of them, because now we have 6 sets of 90. That's a bit. And it's a very long corridor. We also have blue ice underneath so that we can walk faster, we're going to have extra corridors in the corridor, and obviously we're going to have extra corridors in the corridors of the corridor, so that I would be able to get lost in my own base. Anyways, I'm not sure if 540 of them are going to be enough or not, but if it's not, I do have a plan. It's really not a very fancy plan and it's going to look incredibly ugly, but we will see. But now we come to another important issue, the clusters. It's called cluster, right? Yes. It would have been lovely if amethyst golems would have worked with them, but unfortunately they don't. So we need to automate it using block breakers. And besides, I think this is going to be our main bottleneck, not neutronium. Something like this, and we're going to replicate this around our base like a million times, because we need a ton. Uh, behind those bricks are actually pistons, sticky pistons. And I think what we need to do is that we just need to put them on a timer. Uh, this is called a cog block, it's from supplementaries, and it's not anything special, it's just a vertical redstone. Firing three pistons is not a difficult task we can do that but i don't know i just discovered this block and i really enjoy it redstone goes 15 blocks right yeah we don't need a repeater all we need is a clock and they should fire we're going to put this on 20,000 ticks that's 1000 seconds every 15 minutes it's gonna fire 
Oh, actually, uh, that's not how it works. One thing that I forgot is that the timer from RF tools is very fast, so it's gonna break the pistons. So maybe we're going to have a few repeaters to cause a delay. Yeah, because if you don't use a repeater, it's gonna fire the piston, the blocks are gonna move forward, but it's gonna retract so fast that uh, the blocks are gonna stay. Also, I'm using smooth stone not because I want to be fancy, it's because we have this loot bee and I think it does spawn inside stone. So I think if I leave these guys at stone, maybe the bee is going to spawn and mess up everything. So let me finish everything and I'll be right back because we have another project too. And yes, I'm sure this is not enough, but it is a very simple and garbage design, so we should be able to replicate it in every single corridor that we have. It's not going to be a problem. I'm not really sure about the color palette, but I kind of like it. And yes, it's never going to be enough, because uh, the pistons have fired a few times and we didn't get a single cluster. I put vacuum hoppers just in case we get something. And the 20,000 ticks was not enough, I put it on 40,000 ticks, but I think the piston which just fired, uh, it was already on 20,000 ticks. Because you can't change the timer, it's not gonna fire, it's gonna reset and then go to the new time. But we have something here, it's still large. If this works, we're going to have a massive room for it. And no, I'm very sorry, we're not gonna tick accelerate. I mean, cause you know, the whole point of playing the game is to solve problems and have neat contraptions. I'm not saying this is neat, this is garbage. But if I use the watch of flow of time, it's just everything in one block. And I'm really sorry, but I don't find that fun. So another thing that I wanted to do is that even though it doesn't seem that we need magic in this mod pack, um, I want to get into a bit of Ars Nouveau. And by a bit, I mean we want to generate some source. And our dearest Aditya left me a very lovely comment. There were other suggestions too, but since we have EMC, I thought this one is going to be more fun. Lava. How did we make lava? Oh, we can do this. If we have enough lava, eh, let us get some buckets. I'm not your dog. Actually, go in the lava. All operations cost 32 EMC. Huh, that does sound a bit stupid, because I can cheat. So this is a jumbo tank. You can fill it with 32 EMC? Oh no, it's just one bucket. <laughs> that's really fine by me. I just wanted a few buckets of lava, that's it. There are different ways of making source in Ars Nouveau, but we're going to go with Volcanic Source Link. Because what Aditya suggested in his comment was that if you use the fuels from Project E, this is gonna go like super crazy. I would say that is super crazy, that's 10%. What if I give you a block? Holy. <laughs> 20%. 40%. Oh, it's still going. Well, we don't have to be surprised, it's proportionate, so it's gonna fill it in. Then again, maybe not. 80%. Okay, we just use the normal fuel, that's fine. But that is what we're going to use. Also, did you grow? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, and by the way, uh, just in case you're wondering about honey blocks, uh, they have EMC. We just had the one. And in order for our contraption to work, uh, we're going to need a different type of source relay, the depositor. Because this system is going to be like super fast and we need a better relay. You fired, but I got nothing. I guess it didn't grow properly. The difference between depositor and the normal relay is that if you put it on top here, and it is going to fill in all the source jars in a 5x5 radius, provided that they're not linked. So if I give you fuel, all of them should get something. Well, it does need an input. <laughs> yes. I just came here to pick up a few items, and then I noticed I forgot to turn this guy off. We have 76,000 green matter. So I don't know, can you make me a few more? Oh yeah, you can. You're missing that one. That's fine. We shall deal with that a bit later. I'm guessing we can take a refined EMC link and then we're going to use a few entangled blocks. Your favorite mod. This is something that we are never ever going to see in our lives ever again, so we can just hide it underground. Four entangled blocks. We shall link them to the pedestals like so. The refined EMC link. And we just extract it into the pedestals, that's it. Oh, the gold one does not accept the uh, filters. What we are doing is that we do have a refined EMC link, which is making us the fuel and is using the EMC from our power flowers. Then we are extracting the fuel, we're inserting it into the pedestals. The thing is, we just used it a few times and now all the jars are full. I'm transferring that source over here so that we can use them inside the imbuement chambers. Why? Because of source gems. We don't really need to produce any amethyst shard because it does have EMC, so automating this is not going to be a problem. But I don't really mind having some golems who do something. Oh, we need one more. Okay, this one is grown, right? Yeah. It's called the cluster. So next time that the piston fires, we should at least get one. Otherwise I'm doing something wrong. Also, what am I doing? That's neither symmetrical nor nice. Uh, let me fix it. Uh-oh. You get emeralds. 
You don't get the short. Do I have to silk touch this? Well, that just got fun. How would you even silk touch that? Oh, uh, oh. Okay, there are ways. There are even super easy ways. Okay, if that is the case, let us turn it off because I need to have at least one cluster. But seriously, do you absolutely have to silk touch this? Huh. Fine by me. I'll think of something. Production, of course, is going to be incredibly slow. We're going to need more golems, but um, I lost one of mine. You know, you can literally see him over there on the map, but uh, I can't get to him. But good job, boys. In any case, Amethyst golems are the easiest ones to get because, you know, you just have to find the geode. And you get like five of them. Also, I have been making some brass. Can we do this? Oh, yeah. Nice. I like casings. I thought we need a bit of color in the base. Oh, and by the way, the reason that I put it underground like this is that whenever these source links are going to get overheated, they're going to convert stone into lava. And then there is a lava lily which they're going to put it on top and I thought it's going to look cool, so why not? Eh, we haven't automated anything in Create, so I have to do this manually. I'm looking for some melons because I'm sure we had some melons. I can't find it in my system. And I thought I'd give you a very small explanation as to why we haven't gotten into Create yet in this mod pack. We are playing all the mods 8 and we're doing a ton of Create. And literally every single mod pack that you can find either has Create, has Mechanism or Ars Nouveau. It's getting very repetitive, those are the three mods. I don't really want to complain about Ars Nouveau because it's a magic mod, it has to be there, it adds some fun. But if I do too much mechanism and create, it's really gonna get boring. Also, I thought this is the easiest way of getting melons. Come on, dude. Pop. This is gonna take ages. Uh, let's also get a pumpkin. They do have EMC. Yeah, they do. I just wanted to add some colors. Anyways, every single mod pack has literally the same progression. Make polonium, make antimatter, make blah, 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 and blah. So this is why I, sometimes I actually really get bored and I'm like, screw it, I'm not gonna finish the pack. I don't really want to bore you to death, I just wanted to explain to you, yeah, that's one of the reasons that sometimes I quit. You can't make polonium 20 times and make it interesting. It's always the same setup. Also, we do need something on the walls. That's actually nice. Yeah, but I don't really want them to be the same thing. Axolotls! <laughs> oh, but it's four. Yeah. Why not? Uh, this is also four blocks wide. Now that we have talked about this, if you know any mods which are interesting, fun and nice, let me know. I just had to check if you can silk touch the clusters or not, and yes, it seems you can. Uh, we had only an axe which had silk touch, so I used that. If that is the case, that's going to be super easy to automate. However, at the end of the corridor to the corridor, next to the other corridor, we have another corridor. And this is going to be our create area. The problem is that I'm contemplating, should we go down or should we go up? I don't know, but that's not very important. At this very moment, the important thing is, uh, we need motors. And I already forgot how to make a motor. Ah, so if we want to make motors, it doesn't make any sense to make one. We make one stack. That's actually quite a bit. Also, since the update, a shift clicking no longer works. It took quite a bit of time to gather everything, and I'm not even sure if we have everything. But let us see. You know, I dug this hole, and the entire place which is not covered by flight is exactly this hole. Hey, this is why I was carrying enderpearls. Oh, I was gonna cheat and use hoppers. Uh, I can't. Actually, it's just a matter of perspective. Everything is possible, provided if you have enough sides to play with. So, capacitor, one stack, brass plate, brass plate, and the side casing, and what are we missing? Three slots. Can you do it from the front? I don't know. Did it go in? Yeah, it does. So one more copper spool and you should start working. Yes, it does. Awesome. Very fancy create automation and Dr. Rage is going to be proud. I think he's actually going to dissolve me in liquid death. But what can I do? I'm a lazy person. And I'm fine with that. I think the first use that we should have for a motor is this. Is it overstressed? No. <laughs> That's amazing. But we are going to use these guys, even for decoration. Anyways, just before we wrap up, there is something that I really want to try. Uh, there is a quarry from RF Tools, we all know that. And what I want to know is that can we use it for the clusters? We're gonna place down the builder. This is a shaped card quarry clearing silk touch. We select the builder, we select the first corner and the second corner. Now what we want to do is that we just want to harvest emerald clusters. If we sneak and right click, it is going to have a filter. So we don't want it to be blacklist, we want it to be a whitelist. And I don't really care, but match everything. <laughs> we just want this. So if we put it inside the builder with the quarry, and you know, give it some power, are you gonna harvest it? Ah, redstone. I haven't done this in a while, uh, you need an inventory on top. So here is your inventory. You know silk touch. Well, you do silk touch, it's not the silk touch that we want. So what if instead of whitelisting, we blacklist the rest? Let's try this one more time. I think we're good. Yeah, it didn't harvest, that's good. 
So let us give it another fresh test. That was the first corner. This is the second corner. You go in and harvest. Now the problem is you're not harvesting anything. Now it's good. Yeah, exactly. That's what I wanted. Basically, what I did is that we have the small emerald, medium, large, and the budding emerald. Those are blacklisted. Then we're going to ignore the rest. That's it. And you know, the best thing about the RF Tools Builder is that you would be able to reset it with just a button or a redstone signal, essentially a timer. And the only thing it's going to harvest is going to be the cluster, so it can't be as big as our base. We just need like a bajillion of these budding emeralds. But at least we know what to do, so that's good. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one, bye bye.